Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today, we're going to make side opening envelopes. But first, let's have our shout out to True to You, SK, Vicki, Joyce, Judy, and Lala Gamma. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys. You can start with any envelope you want. You could use repurpose envelopes. You can use brand new envelopes, big envelopes, little envelopes, whatever, whatever you'd like. Just an envelope. So now what we're going to do, since we have our envelope here, is I am going to go ahead and I'm going to glue my flap down. So I'm just going to use my Tombow glue and I'm just going to glue this right down right here just like that all right so now it's nicely glued and what I like to do is I like to cut my opening on the opposite side of the flap I don't know why there's no really real reason you can cut it on whatever side you want I just typically like to go to this side so I'm going to cut that open just barely you just barely cut a little tiny piece off not not large or anything like that so here we are this is our envelope now now what I'd like to do is I'm going to fix this corner right here real quick I didn't get enough glue on here and then check this side as well yes I'm going to just put a little glue right there just to make sure those corners are nicely glued down now I'm going to take my ink and I'm going to use my vintage photo and I'm just going to get some ink on my sponge applicator and I'm going to go around all the way around and I'm going to go this side and I'm going to do the other side as well. It just helps in catching those little spots that turn out to be white and they're kind of hard to get to and maybe you never can reach them it just I just find that it helps so I'm just getting this all done here very quickly it doesn't take very long at all and once we have this complete I'm going to bring in my papers that we're going to line the inside with I like to line my inside first I don't like to do it later. I know some people, <clears throat> this is nothing new here. Some people line theirs uh, after they cut it open. I like to do it now. Uh, just get it out of the way. And I don't like to try to glue little tiny pieces on things. That's just not me. So I'm just going to use this beautiful music paper. And I'm going to just trim that end off just a little bit and find my opening here it is and kind of judge where i'm going to need to trim it oh, i'm having i'm struggling here just a second <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and trim it right here i'm going to have to cut probably a little bit more off than that but that's a beginning point a point to begin with that's always good start somewhere just start right and we're going to see if it fits in. And no, I need to cut a little bit more off. We need that though. So let's do that. Now, will it fit in now? Let's see. Yes, it will. So there we are. So, and it is right side up in case that anybody wants to know the music is. And I'm just going to take my Tombow glue and I'm just really leaving my paper in there and I'm just going to lay some glue down while it's inside. I'm not taking it out and trying to shove it back in there. I'm just going to do it that way. I'm going to put a little bit on top of this opening. Anything to make it a little easier, I will do that. So now I'm going to just make sure the glue sticks to the envelope and everything gets glued down so now when you open it up we have the music paper inside oh how pretty it's beautiful already now I'm just going to trim this extra right off right here 
And all I have to do now is get my ink and just put a little bit of ink down inside here. So just like that. It's very simple, but we want to ink the inside here. There we are. Very nice, right? So now we need to do the other side. <clears throat> so I'm going to get my other nice piece of music paper and I'm going to do the other side and then we'll continue. Alrighty, it's lined inside with the music paper. And now what I'd like to do is bring in my beautiful paper here. And this paper is from Digital Fit. That's where I purchased this from. And I'm going to decide, uh, do I want, first of all, do I want my opening to be designed this way, my envelope, or do I want it to be designed this way? And so I'm going to look at my uh, paper here, and I think I want it up and down. So I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead, this is my opening here, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply my glue right onto my envelope and I'm going to make sure I get the edges right here and the other side and I'm just going to do a little bit towards the center but I'm not really covering at all. I'm just going to go around about an inch around the whole thing. Now I'm just going to lay this beautiful paper right on the top. That's what I want. And just make sure it gets nicely spread out. The glue gets nicely spread out. Turn it over and I'm going to trim my papers away from my envelope. like this. I love how these envelopes turn out. I have three envelopes that I've finished and I've decorated them all differently. So I will show you what they look like at the end of the video. I really love this project. Now, just making sure it's all stuck. So I'm going to have it this way. Isn't that beautiful. Absolutely love this paper. These colors are so nice. So I'm just inking it around the edge just to give it that look that we like. And then let's talk about the back. So I decorate the back of mine. Now you don't have to in case you want to glue this down onto a paper then you don't have to worry about decorating the back. But since I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, I think I would like to decorate the back of this envelope. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, and I'm going to apply my glue. And uh, since I want that beautiful yellow daisy right here, I'm going to actually place it so that daisy is on the back of the envelope. So I am going to not put it right at the edge. I'm going to do it this way, just so I get the image that I want. So now I'm going to trim around. I'm just making sure that I didn't put it upside down. I did not. I did okay. <laughs> it would be just like me to put it right upside down. <clears throat> All right, so get this trimmed off. Trim right here. Oh, here we are. Now, what are we looking like now? We are looking like this right here and this right here. So that's absolutely beautiful. Do I want this to be the front or do I want this to be the front? Now I'm not real sure. I have a few things that I'd like to add to this envelope that I have gathered together. I have some pretty lace. I have some pretty 
uh, flowered lace. I have three buttons that I actually put cream thread in the middle. I have some Shabby Dabby Doodah numbers and I have some Tracy Fox label and this actually came from I think the Easter edition of Roxy's Creation. So I was thinking I could use this and I'm just thinking out loud here in my head to see if I want this side or do I want this side. So I'm just looking here. I think I think I want this side. I know you're thinking, well, why don't you want that side? But I think this side's going to work better for me because what we're wanting to do here is I'm just positioning this so I can find the center. I'm going to find the center and then the opening side I want to mark the center of my envelope. So the center is right here. And I'm just going to take it down a little further. Looking for a ruler real quick. I'm just going to take it down a little further to see. Because I'm going to cut. I'd like to cut it down to about right here. So that way I cut straight. If I mark my beginning and my end, I will cut straight. So I'm actually going to cut this envelope just like that. So now it's like this, okay? This is where I'm going to actually ink it now because it's so much easier to ink it now than to ink it later, at least for me it is. So I'm gonna get this inked. And I'm also going to check to see, is this paper glued down real well here? I don't think so. So I'm going to get my glue and I'm going to stick it. There's a little bit that still needs to be glued. I'm going to, some is glued, some isn't. I'm going to stick it down in there and I'm going to get it glued now before I do my next step because I like to make things as easy for me. Do you see that it's a little bit open right here? I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue right there and then I'm going to crease it just like that. Perfect. Now the next step, we're going to take I have a little glue on my hands. We're going to take one of the openings, one of the flaps, and we're going to fold it. And we're going to fold it down so it's straight. So we're just going to crease it. I'm going to use my bone folder. I'm going to crease it open just like that. There we go. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to crease this right here. Now, look, it's open. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Now I can see that I need a little bit more glue right here. And so I'm going to add a little glue. There we go. Now I have the decorations all ready to go. Now let's see, how do we want to do this? I think I would like to add, let me look here. Thinking I wanted that little doily on there, and I thought that I wanted this lace as well. But let's just look and play just a little bit here to see to see what I come up with. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and add our lace right on the bottom. I actually think I'll just put it this far. I'm using the hot glue for the <clears throat> purpose of this video so that yeah, I'm not full of glue and things are moving around and <laughs> it's hard to do if <clears throat> if you're using so much glue and you're trying to show people and it gets all sticky and everything. So the hot glue really comes in very handy. Alrighty, now I'm going to trim this just so that we can see what we're doing here. Alright, we've got that done. 
Now I'd like to add this. I don't, who is blowing up my phone? My daughter. <laughs> my daughter's blowing up my phone. All right. I think I'd like to add that right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink up my edge here. Just a little bit. And... I think maybe I want this heavier part on the bottom, so I'll ink a little bit more right here. And we will add this right like that. I like that a lot. And then I'm going to trim it off in just a minute. But first I'm going to add my glue on here. Lay it down. I think I want it like this. Oh, like this. That's how I did that. Okay. There we go. Place it down. Now, I have some extra glue here. Let me wipe this extra glue off. Alrighty, we got that glue off of there. And now I'm just going to get my scissors in here. I don't really want to cut that lace. I like that lace hanging over the edge a little bit. Just going to trim that, just like that. So now we look like this. I like that a lot. I think that looks nice. So now what I'd like to do is where do I want to put my little flowers? I think I want to put two of them right at the top. Get them unattached. There we go. I'll put them two right there. I'm gonna put some. Say, is this the right way? I think so. I'm gonna put some glue on here. And then add them right here. Oh, I like that. Now let's add the buttons that I put the thread already inside and if I put enough glue for it to come through the holes then it will hold the button on. If I don't make it so the glue comes through, no matter what glue you use, if you don't make it so the glue comes through the holes, it, the button will eventually pop off. Oh my goodness, I'm really liking this. Now let's see, do I want a number on here? Do I want a label? Do I want a small number? Hmm. What did I like best? What do I like best? I think I like this one right here. Do you think I do? So let's go ahead and ink this on. Ink this and get this on. I'll go ahead and use my hot glue to make it quick and easy. Oh, don't put it upside down. There we go. Oh, you guys, I think that is absolutely lovely. I have a few more I'd like to show you. Now there's this one here. I didn't cut this one down as far because I wanted my image to show right here. I've got a cluster of buttons on some pink dyed paper. Another little label. This is Roxy's Creation. Uh, this one is not. This is Digital Curio. And inside there's a, a math book pages inside that. This one here, I love this one. It has a dangle. It has a little grommet here. I put some little clusters of beads right here to accent the blue centers of these flowers. There's some doilies. And these little roses are from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. The paper's from Roxy's Creation. The label's from Tracy Fox. And there are book pages inside of this one. I love that one. Just love it. Just like that. Okay, and then the last one that I have is also Roxy's Creation Paper. 
I have some fussy cut daisies right here. I have a label from Tracy Fox and I have a remnant of some beads on a ribbon with the book pages inside. I don't know which one I like best. I really like them all. And you guys, I am so happy that you have joined me. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there guys. Bye now.